Nature is such a fundamental part of our natural heritage, a part of who we are as Irish people. It's in our songs, it's in our poetry, our literature, our works of art, yet we've completely taken it for granted. I think Irish people care deeply about nature and about the environment, but the education system hasn't taught people about nature, so there has been that disconnection. So a lot of people know more types of clothing brands than they do the names of trees, for instance. And also we've been sold an image of Ireland that is green and healthy, and it's not true. The green of Ireland today is fed by industrial nitrogen. That's why Ireland is so completely green. A healthy green in Ireland would be many more shades of green than we have at the moment and possibly not quite as a luminous green. And certainly it'll be the green of trees much more than the green of fields. It's incredible to look back at what once was in Ireland, how our island was mostly covered in dense oak forests that would have been absolutely teeming with life. We had wetlands, we had beautiful clean rivers that were full of fish, we had seas that were completely boiling with marine life. And pretty much all of that is gone, that abundance and diversity is gone. Fundamentally, our relationship with nature needs to change. We have to stop looking at nature as something that's just pretty and nice to have. We have to look at nature as being absolutely essential to our well-being, fundamental to every aspect of our lives, including our economy. And from that, I think we could build a different type of economy, one that isn't just about squeezing the land and the sea dry of absolutely everything we can get from it and monetizing it. I think we can have a revived, small-scale fishing commercial enterprise around our coasts that can be done in a nature-friendly way and we can move away from industrial fishing. We can have large no-take zones where we don't fish anymore and we can be pretty confident that sea life will recover. On land, it's going to take longer. We know that ancient forests are not going to spring up out of the ground. But rewilding, to my mind, is the cheapest, quickest and most effective solution we have to addressing the biodiversity emergency. The idea behind rewilding is about restoring natural ecosystems, giving nature space and time to recover. It will involve a lot of work to try and get ecosystems back into the condition where they can be self-sustaining and self-perpetuating. But we know we can do that. My hope ultimately is that we see ourselves as part of nature and part of the solution. I hope that we can reward people to steward the land and to mine the sea in a way that restores nature. That is a utopia, but certainly I think it is something that can be done, and I think we owe it to our children to try.